my husband passed away in 2009, yeah, leaving me behind with eight children and also eight grandchildren. And that old lady here, my aunt, my aunt. Yeah. So, on living pro, I have challenges on these children. My husband left me behind. Since what I get on my part time as a casual, it's not enough. So, the on living it's a really problem. Where are the poor? The poor are in the community, and I, the church is a mouth, mouthpiece of the society. And who are the people in the community? Mostly poor paid workers. Many of them are running small businesses, selling charcoal, selling carpenter, tomato. The Jesuit here is a Christian Jesuit center that studies current issues in the light of the Christian faith and advocates for improvement in the lives of the people. The most challenging issue for the JCTI is to improve the living conditions of the majority of Zambians. 60% of Zambians are classified as poor. Many of them don't have jobs and therefore one of the biggest challenges the JCTI has engaged in is to try and work for policies that can change these conditions. What it does is basically links Christian faith to issues that are affecting the community. And from our vision, you will see that we try to meet the needs of the vulnerable. We are speaking about them, lobbying government and influencing policy. So what we do is we advocate, we research and we educate. So this is done through our various publications and through the outreach teams that we have. If you've got problems, can you give us the problem? problem uh. There has been a decrease. It's probably come down from about 16% a couple of years back to about 13.9-14% now, which is significant in terms of numbers. Uh, the other thing that numbers have been going down is the number of children born positive. HIV is no longer, you know, it's not a terminal disease. Cancer could be, but not HIV, because HIV is more like diabetes. If you manage it, you can still live a fairly you know, comfortable, productive life. From the earliest times, St. Ignatius got the insight that if he really is to develop the faith of the world, help people to have a deeper understanding of God and God's amazing dreams in our world, education would be a central method he would use because it helps people to think critically and it helps people to deepen their ability to be aware of their experience, to reflect, to more accurately make judgments. But on another level, hopefully we produce adults who will be adults for others. I'm here to learn and get educated. I want to study politics and development studies to develop um, the continent, basically. If we work together, I think we could come up with different ideas on how we could develop not only a continent, but the world. I am because we are. We are because I am. So again, this uh, intrinsic bond between the individual and the community. That it's not just about economics, it's not just about producing Mercedes-Benz and exporting them and earning a lot of money towards GDP. It's not just about improving my lifestyle, you know, moving from lower class to middle class. It's about helping the community move together. Mm -hmm.